Wow, that vegan teacher claims that she's vegan, but just wait until you see this. Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's Ivan Steph, and you guys, I haven't uploaded since 2020, but your favorite TikTok roaster is back and feeling better than ever. Now, before y'all leave a comment saying that I look like David Dobrik because of my hat, yeah, okay, okay, look, Ontario has been on lockdown for about two months, and I haven't had a haircut in a long time, and let's just say I literally look like a caveman if I don't wear a hat. But if this video reaches 500 likes, then I will post a picture on my story without a hat and you guys can roast me all you want. Anyway, so it's the first video of 2021 and I want to go for a bang. I'm trying to shoot some serious flames and make y'all have a good laugh. So I found this one TikToker that goes by the name of that vegan teacher and oh man, she's absolutely insane. Now, it's perfectly fine to be vegan. If you don't want eggs with your toast or cow's milk in your coffee, it's all good and I I respect your opinion. But there's a fine line between making the choice not to consume animal products and completely dehumanizing and witch hunting people who don't share the same beliefs as you. This is the same woman who tried to compare vegan phobia with racism, sexism, and homophobia. Stop being racist, stop being sexist, stop being homophobic. Stop being ageist, stop being ableist, stop being vegan-phobic. Yeah, no, no, just no. People aren't afraid of vegans, people are afraid of her. And I'm pretty sure that being black, Muslim, or any other minority in North America is completely different than making the choice of being vegan. Vegan-phobia is real, wrong, and dangerous. Stop denying that it exists. Speak out before it's too late. What? What does she mean by before it's too late? I hope she knows that making the choice to become vegan doesn't affect your ability to get a job, vote, or pretty much anything else. I'm not a fortune teller and I can't see the future, but I can guarantee you that making the choice not to put pepperoni on your pizza it won't have you killed for it. This woman has also said that coming out as a vegan animal rights activist is more special than coming out into the LGBTQ community. It's not talking about the things you're going to do to better the world. Coming out as an animal rights activist is talking about the animals, others, not just you. In fact, it is a completely unselfish thing to do. She even went as far to remove herself as an organ donor because she feared that once she died, her organs will go towards someone who eats meat. Look, being vegan is fine, but at this point, she is putting animals ahead of humans. And that's just scary. Now, you all know that I'm strongly against bullying, but there are certain people in this world who honestly just deserve a good roasting. And the fact that this woman's real name is Katie, Karen, Dykemeyer, I mean, how could I resist? So with that being said, this is a raw steak. And this is the degrees of steak doneness. Now, at the end of this video, after I'm done roasting and exposing the crap out of this Minecraft looking ass skeleton, I want you guys to leave a comment and let me know how cooked the steak is. Is the steak rare, is it medium, or is it well done? But just before we get into this, if y'all can leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, it truly would mean a lot to me. Okay, so back in June of last year, Karen uploaded a song titled I Can't Breathe. And based off the timing and title of the song, we can safely assume that she was trying to reference George Floyd. And you might be asking yourself right now, what's wrong with paying tribute to a man who was wrongfully treated by police that led to his unfortunate death? Well, she said that she composed a song on May 25th, 2020, the day of George Floyd's death, but nowhere does she explicitly say his name. Instead, she pays tribute to the death of a vegan animal rights activist named Regan Russell. Now, I want you guys to listen to this song because it's... It's extremely uncomfortable, but just a fair warning, I am not responsible for any ear damage you might have after listening to this song. I am a cow being sent to slaughter. You've sealed your rope around my neck. I can't breathe. I am a pig thrown in this gas chamber, pleading for my freedom. I can't breathe. God damn. Wow. Did you hear those high notes? Karen be reaching levels that even Ariana Grande and Kelly Clarkson couldn't reach. Okay, no, but for real though, the uttermost disrespect of using George Floyd's last few words to produce this, I'm just gonna say it, 
garbage song. I'm not sure what's deadlier, the pandemic that's going on or the ear infection and brain damage that you'd get after listening to this entire song. Look, I understand that this woman is a vegan and is trying to spread her beliefs, but she can do so without taking credit away from the actual meaning of I can't breathe and belittling someone's death. This song, it's a dislike for me. Okay, so moving on, there's this TikTok that she posted and it highlights my exact problem with her. Like I said, it's okay to share your beliefs and ask people to follow you, but it's not okay by any means means to do this. Nate, you little cutie patootie. I am not forcing you to be vegan. Literally forcing somebody is taking them and pinning them down. Like if I took you, okay, and I forced this banana down your throat and push it down, that's literally forcing you to be vegan. <laughs> Uh, okay then. That example that she just used with the banana made me extremely uncomfortable and quite terrified. And not just because I'm allergic to bananas, but you all know the other reason. Anyways, look, here's the problem with what she just said. She thinks that forcing someone means physically grabbing them and using them like a string puppet. Yeah, sure, shoving a banana down someone's throat is one way of forcing them, but there's also something called verbal manipulation as well. When a woman is forced to do something with a man that she doesn't want to, yeah, sure, grabbing her is one way of forcing her, but if he was to verbally threat her, that is still forcing. Now, where I'm trying to go with this is that vegan teacher has witch hunt people and dehumanize them in an attempt to make them vegan and that's just not right. I don't know if y'all heard the situation with her and Tommy in it and for those who don't know who he is he's just a gamer who minds his own business playing Minecraft. Anyway so he posted a TikTok of him it was very simple just him saying that he's at college and is surrounded by women. I'm at college and surrounded by women. Don't be scared Tommy just follow that meat teacher Miss Tofu she'll help you find a nice vegan girl who will teach you what to do. Now I thought this woman couldn't get any creepier after making that video with the banana, but boy, was I wrong. The way she was whispering a company with that creepy smile and then that wink that she did at the end, ugh, it just gives me the chills. This is a 56 year old woman randomly out of nowhere replying to this 16 year old boy's TikTok saying that me teacher Miss Tofu, whoever that is, will teach him what to do whatever that means. Okay, so update, I um, I searched that username on TikTok and it turns out it was just one of Karen's alt accounts. And judging by that really strange profile picture, I have a scary feeling that I know what teaching him what to do really means. Anyway, so that wasn't the end. She stitched multiple other videos of him that had nothing to even do with her. And she tried pressuring him into watching a documentary that showed very gruesome videos of animals. Hello, TikTok. I'm out in the dark. You don't have to be in the dark anymore, Tommy. Just Google watchdominion.com and you will see the light. It's honestly terrifying how obsessed this 56 year old woman is with this 16 year old boy who doesn't even know who she is. And she hasn't just done it to Tommy, she's done it to many other people, including Chef Gordon Ramsay. Eating animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Hurting animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Share this song. And if you call me a donut, Vegan donut. And Billie Eilish. That was actually disgusting. I feel like I can smell her breath just sitting here watching her from my screen. I hope that she washed the ukulele with soap, bleached the thing, and then set it on fire because the amount of nasty bacteria that's probably on that instrument would be enough to make a disease deadlier than COVID. Now, I have a genuine question to that vegan teacher. What does fitting a ukulele in your mouth have anything to do with teaching people to become vegan? Do you see now how disrespectful and cringe this woman is to actual vegans? She puts a horrible label on them. My children off like Billie Eilish now? How about now? Now? 
I'm just lost for words. This woman continues to get stranger and stranger by the second. I just can't believe that she's from Montreal. Like on behalf of all Canadians, we politely pass her off to the Americans. All right, so moving on, there's this YouTuber named Poncho who's gained some pretty big traction uploading commentary videos on that vegan teacher. He's made a few videos calling her out for her obviously creepy and just flat out cringe content. And everything was going fine until the other week he received a community guideline strike for apparently harassing and cyber bullying this woman. Since Karen likes forcing people to become vegan, all Poncho did was just joke around and made a diss track where he was telling her to eat meat. I'm not gonna lie, that diss track is pretty fire and obviously it was just made for a joke. Now my problem with this is that YouTube decided that that diss track is not okay, but apparently it's okay for that vegan teacher to actually harass and witch on people for not becoming vegan. This shit just doesn't make sense. This entire video of mine that you guys have been watching has been me highlighting not even a fraction of the offensive things that she's done to many people. YouTube and TikTok say that it's okay for this Jack the Skeleton looking ass to be offensive towards people's race, gender, and religion. Do you honestly believe that your religion is encouraging you to hurt animals? And if that's really true, it's time to change religion. If you wanna get to heaven, be better be vegan. If you wanna get to heaven, be better be vegan. Time to change your religion like you change your underwear. God has a message for you, here it is. Why the fuck aren't you vegan, yeah? No! But when it comes to calling her out for her wrongful actions, we get censored for it. This just doesn't make any sense at all. Now, I want to read some of the comments that I found on her social media of people roasting her because they're actually hilarious. Plot twist, she's actually anti-vegan who's trying to destroy the veganism by lowering its reputation. Kids, this is why abortion exists. Any questions? Your pets would rather go to Mount Everest than live with you. She just has a rare disorder called perma-veganism. All right, so there's one last thing that I want to talk about. There's a video going around of that vegan teacher who's apparently at McDonald's eating a hamburger. Why was I at McDonald's? In reality, the video is probably not real, but who knows? Maybe she couldn't resist trying that Travis Scott meal. But you know one thing that I wouldn't be surprised to hear? Judging by how much she weirdly loves animals and how much she clearly hates humans, maybe she's a long lost sister of Hannibal Lecter. And for those who don't know who he is, essentially what I'm trying to say is that it wouldn't surprise me if that vegan teacher was found to be eating actual people. Okay, jokes aside though, that vegan teacher, she is not vegan. Sure, she might not eat animal products, but that does not make her a true vegan. I'm friends with a few vegans and they would absolutely hate this woman. It's totally okay to share your beliefs and encourage people to partake in them, but a real vegan doesn't attack and bully people who enjoy eating meats. This boomer is more of a troll than anything and it is a disgrace to the entire vegan community. By witch hunting people and saying that meat eaters go to hell, she's making veganism look like a cult. And the fact that vegan teacher actually used to be a real teacher before posting all this nonsense on TikTok. I find that hilarious. We all know that one thing is for sure that she ever wanted to become a teacher again, well, that just wouldn't happen. I don't know if you've guys seen that movie Matilda, but if you have, she's literally the vegan version of Miss Trunchbull. And the truth is, without her starting all this petty drama with people, She's irrelevant. Just look at her view to like ratio. 100,000 views and only 1,600 likes. It's pathetic and it just goes to show how negatively people view this woman. She needs to get it through her deteriorating lettuce brain that not even vegans like her. Sure, she's pulling decent views now, but so do people like Onision. And look where he is now. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, go on to her recent YouTube video and comment Ivan Steph Raid because I'm trying to get her to see this video because I genuinely want to know what she has to say about all of this. And I also wanna know what you guys think about her, so leave a comment down below and I will be replying to a bunch of comments. But anyway guys, until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Yeah.